Here's another great idea. MicroStation always has what's called a tentative point mode or a TP mode that's running. By default, it's going to be set to locate. Now, what does that do? Well, the TP mode is a way of reporting back what you want to see whenever you press the tentative button. Watch what I mean. If I move my mouse to this corner and I'm going to press the middle mouse button for me, and notice it's going to give a plus symbol and highlights the object that I snap to. What I see here is an absolute location, x and y value, because locate will help me find my x and y values of any point that I snap. If I go to this corner up on top and press the middle mouse button right on the corner, it highlights the objects and it's going to give me an xy value. Now that's what uh, locate does when you are using or working with the TP mode. Now let's change it. I'm going to press the right mouse button so nothing is snapped to. I can come up to utilities and go right into the key in, or if you have your primary panel, locate this icon and I'm going to click on this slam down arrow so that way the box is just temporarily going to display. I'm going to type in the command set space TP mode and notice how it begins to type this for you and there you see the different options. The one we're looking for is distance. Go ahead and click on distance and again you can see that if I move my mouse and press the left mouse button that I can actually add more functions or I can copy this if I needed to put it say into a, a function key. What I'm going to do is press the enter key. Now, the command is active. Down in the bottom, it says my tentative point mode is set to distance. Now, how does this work? And what does it do? Well, the way it works is that you're going to re be required to provide two tentative snaps without accepting it. Watch what happens here. If I snap to my first corner, my plus symbol appears, my object gets highlighted, but nothing gets reported right in this area. It just says key point. If I snap to a second point, watch what happens now. It gives me the overall value of 3.52 and an angle set to zero, which again, it's going to be that distance that you see here. And that angle is measured from the first point to the second point. Now, so you know that we have total control over this. Watch what we're going to do. I'm going to press the right mouse button so nothing is snapped to. I'm going to come up to settings. Let's go to design file. And here under working units, let's change our accuracy to three places to the right of the decimal and press OK. Now let's snap to the same two points. First point, don't accept it, just simply move to the second point and snap. Now instead of showing two places, I am now showing three, and you notice how it's going to be exactly what you see here in your overall dimension.